And in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day tomorrow, the Bill Pickett Invitational Rodeo is back in Denver. This rodeo has a long history spotlighting black cowboys and cowgirls and their contributions to the American West. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon met with one Colorado cowboy who rode in the first ever rodeo like this and is back in it tomorrow. Here we go, Charles Barrett. It's a sport with a long history. We live in a free country. When you go to a Bill Pickett rodeo, it's electric. Here we go. Bill Pickett, born five years after the Civil War ended, is a big part of that. It was fitting uh, for us to have a rodeo that, that featured black cowboys because Hollywood sort of wrote us out of the out of the picture. Maurice Wade oh. fell in love with the rodeo after he came back from Vietnam. A feeling that I, I can't even describe. Uh, it's something that you have to experience. He rode in the first ever Bill Pickett Invitational Rodeo in 1984, held in Denver, a chance to showcase the cultural past of the black cowboy. It's for us to educate and teach people uh, what the real West was really like. It was one of the most integrated professions. They've traveled all around the country. Folks come up to us and say, I never I never realized that, was, that there was any black cowboys, even today, and this rodeo has been going on for 37 years now. And one of the fan favorites, steer wrestling, was invented by Bill Pickett. Back in the day, it was called bulldogging, and that's where uh, the guy would uh, hop off his horse onto a steer's horn and wrestle him to the ground. His legacy, coming back to Denver on Monday, where Wade will be riding. My people, the African American people, the fact that they don't see this, they are super excited and, and they, they show their appreciation by showing us a lot of love. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.